here we go. Hey everybody, it's me, Stuart. Today we're going to read a story about Bambi called The Winter Trail. I like Bambi. Let's see what happens today. Here we go. One winter morning, Bambi was sleeping softly when he heard a thumping sound nearby. Come on, Bambi, his bunny friend, Thumper, called. It's a perfect day for playing. Bambi got up and followed Thumper through the forest. It was a beautiful day. The sky was blue and sunny, and the ground was covered in a blanket of new snow. Icicles glistened on the trees as Bambi and Thumper raced beneath the frozen branches. Sounds like fun. As the two friends played, they came across a line of footprints in the snow. Look at these tracks, Thumper said excitedly. Who do you suppose they belong to? The friends decided to follow the footprints, hoping to meet the animal who had left the trail. I wonder who it is. Before long, they came to a tree and saw someone who might have made the snowy tracks. Wake up, friend Al, called Thumper. The bird peered down at the animals. He had only just flown to his favorite tree branch and fallen asleep. Stop that racket, he replied crossly and closed his eyes. Bambi and Thumper giggled. Friend Al was always grouchy when they woke him up. Friend Al, have you been out walking? Bambi asked. Now why would I do that? Friend Al replied, opening his eyes. My wings take me everywhere I need to go. Oh, I see, Thumper said. Thanks anyway. So the two friends continued to follow the snowy footprints. Grumpy Al. <laughs> Soon, Bambi and Thumper met up with their friend Feline. You can help us find whoever made these tracks, said Bambi, pointing to the trail. Feline nodded and began to walk with them. We should see if Flower wants to come too, Feline said. Flower was her skunk friend. But when they found Flower, he was fast asleep. Thumper tried to wake Flower, but the little skunk just mumbled, See you next spring, without even opening his eyes. The three friends decided to keep going without him. Sleepy little skunk. Thumper bounded down the path. He followed the footprints to a frozen pond and glided across. Come on, he called. There are tracks over here, too. So Feline and Bambi started across the pond. Before long, Feline had joined Thumper on the other side. But Bambi wasn't a very good skater. His hooves slipped backward and forward until he fell flat on the ice. Oops. Aw, Bambi, Thumper giggled. It's okay. We can go skating later, and I'll even show you how to spin around. After a lot of slipping and sliding, Bambi finally took a running start and sped across the pond on his belly. You made it, Feline cheered. Next, the three friends walked up a snowy hill. At the top, they spotted a raccoon sitting by a tree, eating some berries. Hello, Mr. Raccoon, Feline said. Did you happen to see who made these tracks in the snow? But the raccoon's mouth was so full he couldn't say anything. He shook his head and began tapping the tree. The friend looked around. Then they heard a tap, tap, tap in the distance. I know, Thumper cried. He thinks we should ask the woodpeckers. Oh. Thank you, Bambi said. The raccoon waved goodbye as the friends headed down the path toward the woodpecker's pine grove. The tapping got louder and louder. Soon Bambi, Feline, and Thumper had found the woodpeckers. The mama was pecking away and her three children were sitting in holes in the tree trunk. They stuck their heads out when they heard Thumper call, Hello! Yes, the mama bird replied. Did you make the tracks in the snow? Thumper asked. No, we've been here all day, she answered. Yes, 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 her babies added. Just then, Feline noticed that the trail continued behind the tree. Hmm, still haven't figured out whose tracks they are, I wonder. Bambi and Thumper chatted excitedly as they walked. If the tracks don't belong to the woodpeckers, and they don't belong to the raccoon, and they don't belong to friend Al, whose can they be, Bambi asked. Suddenly, Thumper stopped and looked down. They had finally reached the end of the trail. The tracks led all the way to a snowy bush where a family of quail was resting. Did you make these tracks? Thumper asked Miss Quail. Why yes, she answered. Friend Al told me about this wonderful bush. So this morning, 
My babies and I walked all the way over here. Thumper, Bambi, and Feline cheered. They had solved the mystery of the strange tracks. And they had spent a beautiful day visiting friends. Oh dear, Feline said as she saw the sun setting over the hill. I think it's time for us to go home. But when they turned to leave, a big surprise was waiting for them. Their mothers. Thumper was confused. How did you find us? He asked. Thumper's mama answered. Well, your sisters pointed us in the right direction and then she looked down at the deer and rabbit tracks that the three friends had left in the snow. You followed our trail, Feline cried. Her mother nodded. Now, let's follow it back home, Bambi's mother said. And that's just what they did. Yeah. The end. Wow. That was a good story about Bambi and Bambi's friends. They were trying to figure out whose tracks they were and got to talk to all their friends and finally at the end it was they belonged to some quail. That was a good story. Alright, well thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos. See ya! Thanks for watching. See you next time.